Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to create your very own Mickey Mouse inspired beanie as you see right here. Um, this was inspired by Beyonce. She wore something similar to a game with her husband back in February. And, but it's actually a lot of money, the beanie that she ended up uh, wearing. So I'm gonna teach you how you can actually create the beanie for a fraction of the price. I bought most of the materials at Daiso. There are stores in the West Coast. If you don't have Daiso in your area, I suggest you thrift, thrift, thrift. Target's always a good option to find cheap beanies as well. So let's go ahead and get started. For this tutorial, you are going to need two beanies. You're also going to need some stiff black felt, a pen or marker which you can mark stuff with, also a cup that's the width of your ears or the ears that you want, some thread, some scissors, some sewing pins, and of course a needle. So we're going to begin by creating the ears for our beanie. So what you want to go ahead and do is take your cup and actually draw out two circles. And once you have your circles, you want to cut them out with your scissors. And once they're completely cut out, you want to set them together to make sure that they're um, round equally the same. And at the very bottom of one side, you actually want to make it flat. And this is the part that's going to go on the inside of your beanie. As you can see, um, your ears are starting to um, form. So now that you've created a template um, with your ears um, using the felt, for your ears using the felt, I'm sorry, you wanna go ahead and place them on your beanie and that's how they're going to look. So now you're going to take a second beanie. I just happen to have this beanie hanging around. It's actually really old. So what you're gonna be doing is actually using the material, the extra material or uh, fabric from that one to actually sew around um, your felt. So as you can see, I'm actually going to be putting the round part on the edges. The reason I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to be cutting around so then that way I only have to actually sew the sides. So go ahead and grab your fabric pen or marker or your chalk, um, chalk pen and actually begin to draw out your ears and this is actually going to create a little pattern on there. So go ahead and cut them out. Make sure that you leave enough fabric all around and go ahead and cut those out so you have one and two and then once you have your little square go ahead and place your felt inside of the squares you can see that's how it's going to um, kind of look and form but what I'm actually going to be doing is actually flipping um, my fabric inside out and then I'm going to take my felt and actually stick it inside and the reason I'm leaving it inside is when I'm sewing, I want it to um, be able to actually create the form all around it. So now take your sewing needle and you're actually going to start from the top of one side, as you can see, and kind of follow your felt and sew around that, not through it. Uh, make sure you sew around it and sew around from one side all the way to the bottom. And once you're done with that side, go ahead and move on to the opposite side and don't do anything to the very um, bottom edge, leave that undone. And now that both of my sides are sewn, um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually uh, remove my sewing pins. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and trim off any extra fabric all around. And now I'm going to actually remove um, my felt ear out and I'm going to flip it um, inside out once more. And as you can see, that way uh, your beanie, the edges all around are actually really nice. And then go ahead and stick the felt back in and of course leaving the bottom undone as well. And go ahead and repeat this with the second ear as well. So now that you have both of your ears completely done, um, what you're gonna go ahead and do is actually begin to sew the bottom together and you're gonna sew it shut. So go ahead and sew both sides and you wanna go ahead and still leave that extra fabric at the very ends. This is actually going to help you bind um, your beanie together with the ears. So as you can see, one side is done. I'm gonna go ahead and sew my other side as well. And once both sides are completely sewn, I'm gonna go ahead and actually place them on the top of my beanie. I wanna make sure that um, I secure them on correctly. So go ahead and find a spot that you like and take one of your sewing pins and just kinda of secure it on there. And also do that to the opposite end as well. And that way you can see if the ears are um, aligned correctly. If they're not, you can still move them. And once you're completely satisfied with the way your ears look, just go ahead and use that extra fabric you have on the back side to actually begin sewing your ears onto your beanie and go ahead and do this to both sides. 
And once that's done, go ahead and trim off any extra uh, fabric that lays on the bottom of the ears and you're actually completely all done with your Mickey Mouse ears beanie. And don't forget to head over to FancyMade.com for even more DIY tutorials.